up? What is up, my people? But all you do is... I've been practicing this song for three weeks. Ready? Tell me if you know what it is. Don't all act at once. Well, I'm a cowboy. On a steel horse I ride. And I'm wanted, wanted, dead or alive. Hello everyone, Mark Mahone, you see this name, it says Mark Mahone, I don't know how to get my, uh, uh, this, I'm trying to set up this Logitech, I don't know if I should put stuff behind it so it doesn't echo, I don't know what to do here, my last video was really echoey, and, well, I'm gonna... and it was really echoey, so it was really echoey, anyway, this is Jeff Gray, this is one of the original gangsters of First Amendment activity in First Amendment audits, man. The reason I chose Cowboy for the song is because if you go to my, if you go to my John Felix News, please go here and hit follow. You see, here's my little banner I've been working on. It changes a little bit every day. Here's the getting arrested for possession of donut frosting story. I'm trying to put something up every day. I'm trying to create a Facebook page. That way I can actually make money from what I do because YouTube doesn't like my political ideas. So they demonetize me, restrict me, blah, blah, blah. I make less than 10 bucks a day on YouTube. It's disturbing. Anyway, where was I? Mark Mahone. He's a judge. This is a huge problem now. Uh, a judge gets to decide that the First Amendment doesn't apply on the sidewalks and around buildings and buildings that the people pay for. So Jeff Gray is an original OG auditor. If you don't subscribe to Jeff Gray, you're not interested in this movement. You're not interested in the First Amendment or freedom to begin with. So here's a video he made. I'm going to be interrupting constantly. If you don't want to hear me, go to the description and watch the original video. So here we go. Well, I'm going to give you these. Okay, what are these? It's the court order from Judge Mahan that tells you that you have to cease and desist what you're doing and leave the area or you'll be held. This guy's outside taking pictures, and the judge says he has to leave the area. He has to leave the public. In contempt of court. Okay. Or he's going to hold them in contempt of court. Contempt of court. The judge thinks the sidewalk is his court. Thomas, just a okay, second. Well, Let me ask I'm him. I'm just giving you this, and then I'll be back. Can I, can I just ask you a question? I'm giving you this, and then I'll be back to kidnap you. Sure. Just to be clear, uh, we're standing across the street. This is Broad Street. We're on this public sidewalk across the street. Read the order, and it'll explain it to you. It's very quick to read, but read okay. the order, and it'll explain I have no ability of critical thinking, so you have to read what the tyrannical judge wrote. And then I do exactly as he says, regardless of my critical thinking ability or my uh oath that i took to the constitution explain everything to you if you have any questions i'll be back in a few minutes okay well i just want to ask you um sure. if we don't leave you're telling us if we don't leave right now we're going to be a arrested for contempt read that and the court order says if you do not cease and desist what you're doing that you will be arrested for criminal contempt of court criminal contempt of court for engaging in press and assembly two guaranteed rights in the first law on the books so this is uh, PNAC. Photography is not a crime. That's what PNAC stands for. 
Back in 2015, the late great Thomas Covenant and I filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against Mark Mahan, chief judge of Florida's Fourth Judicial Circuit, headquartered in Jacksonville, Florida, over his unconstitutional administrative order that... There's a disgusting tyrant right there. So they filed a lawsuit against them, and let's see, North Florida Circuit Judge who issued the unconstitutional order barring citizens from video recording outside of a Jacksonville courthouse prompting national criticism along with federal lawsuit from PNAC has rescinded his order. What do you mean? How about he gets arrested for trying to violate the law that he swore an oath to? Rescinded the order means nothing. That's like, oh, my bad. The ban freedom of speech and freedom of the press. As a result of PNAC's lawsuit and national criticism, Chief Judge Mahan scaled back his unconstitutional order. Unfortunately, in 2020, it seems like Chief Judge Mahan is up to his old tricks. That's like now. Hey, I'm back. I just had to use the restroom first okay. time. That thing is not on, is it? Yes. It is on. It has to be turned off. Okay. You can't videotape. And where are you taking? What are you, are you showing something to somebody? Uh, or are you taking I'm just going to go get video of the common areas of the courthouse. You can't do that. Did you already get? You had to get permission. Did you already get Jan's permission to do that? Uh, I did not. I thought that. I'm not going to go in the courtroom. It doesn't matter. Even when you go anywhere in here, there's no. And it's like they don't tell these people anything about people recording. They just let them go off of the the brainwashing that since no one else is doing it, you're not allowed. So you must not be allowed. And they just make it up as they go along and no one gets in trouble. I'll talk to you real quick. I'm sorry, what'd you say? No, you can't video you that camera in here. Oh, okay, so I need to leave what? Do you have? No, uh, no, no, you can have the camera, but you just can't be on it. You just can't use it. Oh, okay, just to be clear, I'm not going in the courtroom. I just want to video in the uh, common areas. No, can't do it. And if I... No. Not unless you already have the area coming. Can't do it. And what if, what if... It's like the guy on Friday. How come every time I'm at the TSA checkpoint, you at the TSA checkpoint. I like metal wands. I like metal detectors. I like x-ray machines. What if I did anyway? Huh? No, I'm not saying I would, but what if I did it anyway? You'd get arrested. What would I be arrested? Nice no, he's threatening the kidnapping for First Amendment protected activity. Huh? I'm, I'm just fine. What would I be arrested for? I'm not trying to be confrontational. Let us comply with the courthouse rules by the chief judge. No. Failure to comply by the courthouse rules of the chief judge. He already lost to the guy you're talking to. Okay. No video on anywhere in the courthouse? No. Really? Do you have a copy of the policy? Unless you're news. Unless you're news. And news. Unless you're news. Everyone is news, dummy. There's that one spot they can go to the video. And that's coming out. Oh, unless you're news, then we have a restricted First Amendment area for restricted news people. The ones we like. And then we put them in a restricted area. That's how much we appreciate your rights here the at the extortion center. Doing something to put on the news. Oh, okay. I'm a member of uh, Pinac. One spot to go to the news people. Okay, I'm gonna get my uh, wallet out. I'm I'm a member of Pinac News. I have my business card. Nope. Oh, okay. Only the news. Oh, I am news. Uh, no. Photography is not a crime. No. This is my. No, man. When I say news, I mean the ones you see on channels three, five, and eight. The one I pick up with my Digital antenna receiver with 80 kilometer range. Business card? Photography is not a crime? No. I'm not blocking anybody, am I? Uh, no, only regular news. Do not operate the camera. All right. Uh, Shut up. Um, <laughs> I mean, I like cameras. I'm getting some film developed later on today at the Kodak Shack. Wow. Can I get a copy of the administrative order that says that I can't? A copy of the administrative order? Yeah, is it like an administrative order that says that you can't record? I'm sorry? Oh, okay. All right, so I can't come in there with a camera. 
you come in, but you can you operate can. the camera. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm. This this will piss you off. Here comes a uh, some loser clown in a costume. I believe he's a lieutenant for the police. And now he has issue just the fact that Jeff is standing there doing nothing but taking pictures in public. So a lieutenant has to show up for that. That's how big of a deal it is to them. How you doing? How's it going? Back for another day? Yes. yes. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Good deal. How can I help you today? Uh, no help. Someone ask you for help? I don't need any help or anything. No, do me a favor and turn around and walk the other way. Sally Porter would be helpful because you know we do have sensitive information that go, people that go in and out of that location. So right. We'd appreciate that. And uh, I don't know what if there's anything. Here comes backup clown number two. Specifically, you need photographs of something maybe I can help you get. I just just freedom of the press, man. I'm just engaged with freedom of the press. That's all. Are you a member of the press? I am. Yes. Do you have any press ID? I do. No. Who issues press ID, dummy? Can I see it, please? Uh, I'd rather not. No. You'd rather not? No. Okay. I mean, actually, yeah, I can show you. Come up on it. Is that okay? Right. Sure. I have my business card. Okay. Right here. Uh -huh. Can I see this? What type of work do you do? Uh, investigative journalism, civil rights investigations. Okay. All right. Well, can I get this? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Right. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, Jeff, like I said, Appreciate if you couldn't do the back of the building like that, and, uh, and if, as long as you're not standing in anybody's way, cause any issues. Okay. That's called cop splaining. The guy's doing nothing wrong. The cop knows it, but he has to try to subject him to his authority. Cop splaining is a term created by Jay Vincent from Luck Foyers Institute. Subscribe. I mean, I'm still going to do the back of the building. That's one of the reasons I'm here, is to get a video of vehicles coming and going, the Sally Ports and stuff like that. But what, what purpose would that be? None of your business. Take photographs of the Sally Port of vehicles coming and going. Um, well, there's a lot of stuff that happens in Sally Ports. Uh, uh, prisoners get beat and stuff like that. Well, I mean, cut to the chase, it's freedom of the press. I have every right to do what I'm doing. Including the Sally Port, so not a whole lot you can do about it. Well, you know, we'll catch you down the line. You don't forget to put the address up on your house. Right, Corporal Davila, Pasco County. Unless you guys, I mean, you guys don't have anything to hide in the Sally Ports or anything like that, do you? Really, Jeff? Really? Yeah. Is that where we're gonna go? Like, you got something to hide? Or do you need to hide? Then what's your problem, homeboy? You don't like your own your own tactics against you. Okay. We just want to make sure that you know who you are, what's going on, and make sure that you're not some terrorist out here causing. The only terrorist is the one you look at in the mirror every morning, you punk. Stop accusing everyone of being a terrorist. The only people engaged in violence for political reasons are the police. Problems are looking for ways to get into our system and stuff that like that. That's I'm our not job, a, right? Not terrorists. So. Remember the media. Or, as you say. But, uh, okay. Well, as you say. First of all, dummy, you swore an oath to the First Amendment, which makes anyone who wants to be media can be media. Dummy. You swore to that. Secondly, he gave you a business card. What, what do you want him to do? He has millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of views on YouTube. He is media. What else do you need, moron? Maybe one day you'll be a cop and understand your oath. Well, I'll tell you what. 
Make sure you don't get yourself hit. We'll stay in traffic. More cops planning. Make sure you don't do this and go for your burger and burger. Got to do it wrong. And uh, do us a favor. And if you're going to do any of that stuff, uh, do it on the other side of the sidewalk, too. Oh, now he's trying to move him. Again, he can't, cops can't control themselves. They have to exert authority over you that they don't have. And he had every intention of coming over here and making Jeff do something that he didn't want to do. And Jeff doesn't put up with it. And as a matter of fact, he files lawsuits. And you're going to see this turns ugly because this cop cannot help but to escalate the situation instead of just obeying the oath he took to the Constitution. You're on the correct side of the sidewalk. Don't be on our sidewalk, do it. Be on the other side of the street. I'm going to do it on your sidewalk and as much as I damn well please. Right, you know, right. I, you and your camera can have a great day. Yeah. You and your camera can have a great day. You and your costume can go F your mom. Uh, but you know what? You're not going to get a rise out of me today. So He yeah. already has. You're already acting like a moron, bro. You're already cop-splaining, talking in circles, giving false directives. Just shut up and turn around and do the walk of shame because that's what you're going to do. You did not accomplish your uh, your tyranny today. Okay, I don't want to get a rise out of it. I want you to honor your oath and do what you're supposed to and not try to tell me not to do what I, I'm allowed to do by have a right to do. This is a constant <laughs> problem with this courthouse. I've already sued the chief judge of this courthouse. How'd that work out for you, Jeff? It worked out great. How'd that work out for you, Jeff? He won, moron. He won, and now he's just ignoring. He's just doing it without putting it on paper. How'd that work out for you, Jeff? We're still trying to violate your rights. You're an idiot, bro. I like how these cops come on camera and they think they look good. You look like an idiot, dude. He beat the guy. This photographer, sidewalk photographer, auditor, beat the chief judge in court, filed a lawsuit against him, and won. And you're still arrogant. How'd that work out for you? God, cops are so stupid. That worked out great. I don't think it did. He won, moron. You don't think that he changed his executive board or his uh, administrative order because we filed a lawsuit? Well, you can check your record. No, no. I just make it up as I go along. Reality doesn't mean anything to the police. And to find that out. But, Jeffrey, you know, we're going to get anywhere today, I guess. There's nowhere to get. You came out here for no reason. You can get back to doing nothing like you were before if you have this much time on your hands to harass someone who's engaged in perfectly legal activity. Is that we're not? I'm not interested in, I'm not interested in, uh, you know, alleviating or, or giving up my rights to please you. That's not my thing. And I'm not going to give up what we have to do here as a responsibility to please you either. Okay. What do you have to do? Stop people from exercising their rights that you swore to uphold? What are you talking about? You're so stupid! How are you a lieutenant? Uh, just be aware of that. Listen up, dishwashers. No offense to dishwashers. I know you work a lot harder than police do. But if you want to become a lieutenant, just become a cop. Do all the stupid things they want you to do. Uh, enforce victimless crimes and steal everybody's money. And you could be this guy one day. With your hand in your pocket harassing photographers. And don't do anything wrong because if you do, then obviously we'll have to do That's a threat. Now he's out here. Now he's threatening him because he doesn't have any lo uh, lawful authority to do anything. I don't have any attention to do anything wrong. I'm a law abiding citizen. You have a great day. All right. Before you guys go, can I get all your names and badge numbers before you go? Are you, you're, yeah, you told them. My badge number is 7115. Okay. 7115. Lieutenant Price, 6149. Another lieutenant, Price, 6149. Wow. Okay. You, sir? Thank you. All right. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Marcus Gray. OG. This guy is an OG. Subscribe to his channel. Once my computer catches up here. Honor your oath. Civil rights investigations. Right there. See, this guy should have a ton of subscribers. So please, guys, subscribe to him. Subscribe to me, John Felix, the man, superior.
Uh, please go to my John Felix News at John Felix News on Facebook at John Felix News. I just posted a, a fun feel good story about a cowboy. Let's see if I can refresh it. Cowboy was at Walmart and some stuff went down. Please go to my uh, John Felix News website to check it out. Whatever. Megajustice.com, BitChute Channel, Rockstar Dealing Academy. If I had a computer that worked all right, things would be awesome. Please go to my Etsy store. My Etsy store. I have to fill some space for my computer to do its thing. Come on, guy. I'll rub you. Oh, yeah, computer. Oh, yeah. What? No, you're not a flea market piece of crap. No. Oh, thank you. So this is my Etsy store, guys. Help me out. Buy a ring. I don't make any, any barely any money anymore. So peace and tranquility. But please go to my John Felix News website. John Felix News on Facebook. Peace, tranquility. Have a nice day. I love you. All that good stuff. Bye-bye. Take care.